2020 has proven to be a good year in the financial technology market as the Central Bank of the Bahamas is continuing with its phasing out of its Project Sand Dollar. Lloyd Allen was at the bank on Monday and shares the details of the newest virtual cash advancement. Project Sand Dollar last month was introduced in Exuma and today employees at the company have been introduced to the project which now opens the door to move them from traditional currencies to a virtual payment system. Bobby Chen, Assistant Manager for Banking at the Central Bank, explains. Well, this initiative is brought on by Central Bank as a part of um, onboarding the users to experience the Sand Dollar network firsthand. At the moment, um, in Nassau, uh, this initiative is only um, limited to the Central Bank employees to allow the central bankers to get a field um, tangibly of how the Sand Dollar app is going to look and feel. Um, but in Exuma, the public has already been onboarded um, since the December 27th of last year as a part of the uh, launch, the official launch of Sand Dollars. According to officials at the Central Bank, Sand Dollar is literally a digital currency identical in value and function as the traditional paper or coin currency. Chen says islands like Grand Bahama and Abaco are prime ground for the Sand Dollar project. He also spoke of the difference between Sand Dollar and Bitcoin. Well, Bitcoin is different because it's, it's a cryptocurrency and it's traded on the open market. Whereas the Sand Dollar is digital fiat, which means that it is, it is um, Bahamian dollar and it is pegged to the U.S. dollar um, in, our, in our reserve system. So it is different in that it doesn't fluctuate. The value stays one-to-one -one with the Bahamian dollar. It is the Bahamian dollar. It's the Bahamian fiat that is issued by the central bank. Uh, the next phase, we're looking at um, Abaco because um, obviously it was, it was uh, devastated by the hurricane and a lot of the banks have been, uh, I guess, uh, not feasible to, to operate as normal. So we intend to get into Abaco and Grand Bahama to offer them uh, the alternative to, to be able to use Sand Dollar and be able to onboard the user to a financial institution that they can, that they can rely on. Chen also spoke of the future of Sand Dollar possibly expanding beyond the borders of the Bahamas. Uh, yes, there is potential, but at the moment we are restricting it only for domestic use, for it to, to be fleshed out and for, be, for it to be fully tested. Uh, but in the future we do, we do anticipate uh, some level of interoperability with, uh, with, with foreign currencies. Lloyd Allen for the ZNS Morning News Edition.